So hello dear students. Today we will see the next point of unit number three. That is unified power flow controller. Till now we have covered description of static power compensator. Then the con uh, controllers or configurations under static power con uh, compensators like FC, TCR, TSC, TCR, static compensator. Then we have seen the series type of controllers like static synchronous series compensator, then TCSC, etc. So today we'll start with next type of controller that is combined type. And the best example of this combined type of controller is unified power flow controller or UPFC. The UPFC was proposed, UPFC concept was proposed in 1991. The UPFC was devised for real time control and dynamic compensation of AC transmission system, providing multifunctional flexibility required to solve many problems facing the power delivery industry such as changes in uh, uh, compensate the ch changes in voltage variations control the reactive power compensation improve the power factor damp out the power oscillations etc within the framework of traditional power transmission concept the UPFC is able to control simultaneously or selectively all parameters affecting power flow in transmission that is voltage, impedance and phase angle. And this unique capability is signified by the adjective unified in its name. That means Unified is nothing but combinedly. It combinedly controls the voltage, impedance, and phase angle, thereby controlling the reactive power and improving the voltage stability limit and power factor of the circuit and eliminating or compensating the harmonics present in the system. Alternatively, it can independently control both real and reactive power flow in the line. For all controllers discussed in previous chapters, the control of real power is associated with similar change in reactive power. That is, increase of real power flow also results in increase of reactive power. So basic operating principle. So this is the operating basic diagram of UPFC for two machine system. And the vector diagram is shown in figure B. From the conceptual point of view, UPFC is generalized synchronous voltage source. So it is a UPFC is nothing but a voltage source converter represented by fundamental frequency by voltage phasor VPQ. So the voltage is represented by VPQ with control level magnitude VPQ greater than zero and less than VP max and the angle greater than rho greater than zero less than two pi. In series with transmission line as illustrated for visual elementary two machine system or for two independent system with transmission line intertype as shown in figure. So, the operating principle of UPSC is defined for this two machine system where the voltage can be increased up to its value that is VP, VPQ and this VPQ is controllable. So this VPQ is, so the UPFC voltage is controlled to a value VPQ and the magnitude of VPQ varies from 0 to maximum that is VPQ maximum and the phase control as seen earlier the term unified means 
it controls voltage impedance and phase angle simultaneously thereby when we control the voltage the phase angle also get changes in this functionally unrestricted operation which clearly includes voltage and angle regulation so upsc controls the voltage as well as its phase angle the synchronous voltage source generally exchanges both reactive and real power with the transmission line since as established previously an svc is able to generate on the reactive power exchange the real power must be supplied to it or absorbed from it by suitable power supply or sin in upfc arrangement the real power exchange is provided by one of the end buses that is sending in bus as indicated in the figure so in order to exchange both real and reactive power we know that all the controllers can absorb and emit the or inject the reactive power depending upon the magnitude of voltage and current and the phase angle but however if you want to control the real power in case of upfc this this real power is exchanged by one of the bus with help of one of the bus as shown in figure earlier that is figure 1 there are two bus systems from which the sending end bus exchanges the required real power in the transmission system so this is the control of upqc upfc in the presently used practical implementations upfc consists two voltage source converters so converter 1 and converter 2 as illustrated in figure this back to back converters label converter 1 and converter 2 in the figure are operated from common dc link provided as dc storage capacitor as indicated before this arrangement functions as an ideal ac to ac converter in which real power can freely flow in either direction between ac terminal to two converter and each converter can independently independently generate or absorb reactive power in its own ac output terminal so there are two converters which are connected back to back each converter itself absorbs and generates the reactive power required in the system and these two converters are connected by a common link that is dc link which acts as an energy storage device so the control signals should be generated for both the converters to be operated so as to supply or inject the reactive power to the system or absorb the reactive power from the system converter to provides main function of upfc by injecting voltage vpq with controllable magnitude magnitude vpq and phase angle rho in series with the line via insertion transformer so from out of two converters that is converter and converter 1 and converter 2 converter 2 injects the voltage vpq in the system with an angle phase angle rho in series with the line with help of injection insertion transformer or injection transformer this injected voltage acts essentially as synchronous ac voltage source the transmission line current flows through this voltage source resulting in reactive and real power exchange between it and the ac system so with help of injecting the voltage it generates the reactive power and real power since the current flows through a transmission line and we are going to inject the voltage so the we know the uh, equation of power that is product of voltage and current depending upon the magnitude of voltage injected into the system or transmission line the magnitude of reactive power and real power is dependent the reactive power exchanged at ac terminal that is the terminal of series insertion transformer is generated internally by converter 
the real power exchange at ac terminal is converted into dc power which appears at dc link as positive or negative real power demand so it converted to ac voltage is generated which is injected into the system but at the output of that converter it is converted into dc across the dc link as positive or negative real power demand the basic function of converter 1 is to supply or absorb real real power demanded by converter 2 at the common dc link to support the real power exchange resulting from the series voltage injection so what is the function of converter 1 converter 2 injects the voltage magnitude into the series transmission line with help of injection transformer so that the reactive power and real power, uh, active power demand can be met but while de- injecting the reactive power the real power of that converter get decreases so the converter one fulfills the required demand of active power or real power of the converter one and it is supplied with the help of dc link this dc link power demand of converter 2 is converted back to ac by converter 1 and coupled to the transmission line bus via shun connected transformer in addition to the real power needed of converter 2 converter 1 can also generate or absorb controllable reactive power if it is desired and thereby provide independent shared reactive power for the line so the converter one has two ad- uh, two functions that is first function is to meet the demand of real power required by the converter two or directly inject the reactive power into the transmission line with help of shunt connected transformers it is important to note that whereas there is a closed direct path for real power negotiated by the action of series voltage injection through converters 1 and 2 back to the line the corresponding reactive power exchange is supplied or absorbed locally by converter 2 and therefore does not have to be transmitted into the line thus converter 1 can operate at unity power factor or control to have reactive power exchange with the line independent of reactive power exchange by converter 2 obviously there is no reactive power flow through upfc dc link so the main function of dc link is to just transfer the active power but does not it does not transfer the reactive power so these are the uh, configurations of upqc that is single phase upqc which has two lake hub bridge upqc three lake hub bridge upqc four lake full bridge upqc this is three phase three wire upqc it is three phase four wire upqc now we have hybrid types of uh, upqc present in the system so it is not necessary to go in depth with it just we have to just see the basic operating principle of upqc and depending upon this here one thing remains constant that is there are two converters present into it which are back to back connected and depending upon the supply system or the source that is single phase or three phase we can have different configuration of upqc upqc that is single phase hub bridge full bridge two leg three leg uh, then three phase three wire then three phase four wire and so on